What up, shotties? I am Jaden, 20 years old. Um, I'm from the South, both ends, Texas, Tennessee, and uh, I live in Sherman Oaks, California, and I make punk rock music. The funniest part is, I just put this out there, like I didn't listen to punk music growing up at all, but I grew up listening to really anything anyone liked, and it's because I was super shallow and like insecure as a person. I just really wanted to be able to have something to relate to other people. I didn't really understand like groups of music, like the fan bases, and I had no idea about any of that. Like I, I, I just listened to what was on the radio. I thought that's what everyone did, you know, and most do. The earliest time I remember music like impacted me was really with Justin Bieber. I was like 10 and I saw Never Say Never, the movie, and uh, I definitely cried, which was, you know, questionable for my, me and my age. I didn't really understand what I was crying about, but uh, it was a feeling, you know, because that's what music is. And I, I felt like I had so much similarity uh, between me and him, uh, Justin, and it really inspired me to sing. I got to high school, you know, I started doing plays. Um, and before I had done my first one my junior year, the drama teacher came up to me and asked me if I wanted to be in the play. And I was like, yeah. And so she was like, okay, you should audition. So I did. I ended up getting the lead role. I was Bert in uh, Mary Poppins. And uh, that was crazy. It was the first like time I had ever had to take talents I had and like kind of dedicate them to something. And I did learn like a thousand lines. I learned how to tap dance. I was like, I was put through like safety training. I learned how to sing like in, in a specific way. And so that was, it felt, if now it feels foreshadowing, you know? Like, there's no way that actually just happened for no reason. Uh, but at the time I was like, why am I doing this? Like really, what's the point? But I had a lot of fun. I don't know if you can hear the words I'm saying right now. So I scream them louder. When I first came to LA, I, um, my ex-girlfriend had showed me a Blink-182 song called Dark Side. It was the first time I had ever heard Blink consciously. I knew their songs like in passing, right? But it was really, I'm honest, every single time, it was the first time I ever heard them. There's no need to apologize. It's not your fault again this time. And then my uh, manager calls me and she's like, Travis Barker just like called and wants to be talking to you about working with you. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, what is that? What is, I don't have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. They flew me out, and he was so genuine, and he didn't expect anything from me, and he didn't talk about numbers. He didn't talk about anything. He talked about, you know what he did talk about? Uh, the music he was making, like, at that very moment. And he took me in his car, and he showed me, like, 10 songs he was making with Kells and Dom, and I was like, I'm convinced. 100%, that's all I needed. So I decided, I was like, yeah, let's sign with Travis. And little did I know that would be the best decision of my life. Feel complacent, you're broken. My writing process is very different each time, you know, like sometimes we'll walk in with from scratch and I'll have an idea just of words and Travis is like, oh bet. Travis produces a lot, which people don't understand. He every every single song of mine he's produced, so um there's a lot of good, it's about having the right connection. I don't use a lot of writers. I've probably been in with two. It's not about I think I'm better. It's just like, there has to, my music has to have a connection and it has to be coming from like a real space. But I don't, you know, it's, it takes a minute to get there sometimes. And so being able to do this all on my own with Travis or like in one other person, you know, is really, really cool. Cause it just reminds me that like, I am supposed to be here, you know, I am like uh, contributing. Punk is so you, and that's all I can say. It is like it's not this or that. There's, it's not just the Sex Pistols. It's not just Blink. It's not just like you know this like heavy emo like Rancid. You know that it's like everything you want it to be. I think with the music that I make, it it, it is what it is. You know, and after you listen to it and you hear it, you get to accept it for what it is and move on. You know, to the next thing. I think that I'm in a perfect position and I don't say that lightly now um, I'm, I'm not one to like 
talk up what I do or anything, but I've been analyzing for the past year and like the things that have been happening. My fans are actually my fans and it's not just like a wave, you know? And I am who I am and I haven't been able to be that for a long time. So I'm in the perfect position, I think, to really change the world, um, which is mind blowing because I've, that's all I've wanted to do for so long. So the fact that I actually think it's possible now is something that I don't think a lot of people understand. Like, it's a crazy feeling, like being able to see something that's actually, like, close, you know? It's crazy.